Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we have seen how can we build subscription and consumption based product using Salesforce billing. It was the session that I presented in Ahmedabad Salesforce user group meetup. I felt really good to know that many of you found that helpful in learning Salesforce billing and some of them have reached out with some other topics like I can prepare a video with. So we'll be doing that in later on. Right now, I'm moving forward with Salesforce CPQ. Today, we are going to learn about another important functionality of Salesforce CPQ, which is price rule. So let's have a look at agenda. So we're gonna see like what are price rule, what are, where are those use, events of executions, how to configure the same, a use case and a demo of use case. So what are price rules? So price rules are the way to automate updates to the quote lines and product option fields. It is an add-on to a standard pricing engine functionality. Now, where are those used? So price rules can be widely used for following topics like injecting static or dynamic values to any other fields, updating the quantity of the product based on another product, updating price of the product based on other products. Okay. Now events of execution. So an execution of price rule depends on values set for the following field. Which field? The evolution scope. Now if the evolution scope is calculator, then price rule will be running before the calculation, on calculation or after calculation event of pricing. Now if event evaluation scope is configurator, then price rule will run while you save the configuration of a bundle structure or you edit a configuration. Now how to configure it? So it's straightforward like you have to create a price rule with all the header level information which consists of those previous slides fields. Create a price conditions to narrow down the scope. Right. So for which products you want to execute, uh, you can make those conditions in price condition. Then create a price action record to update the fields. Now a use case. So ABC Corporation is selling printers to the customer. While selling printers, they are also including maintenance kits. Okay. Maintenance kits must be twice number of printers. Right? And if the quantity of printers changes, the quantity of maintenance kits must change accordingly. Okay. So this is the scenario that we're gonna see today. And let's have a look at. So I'm on a quote, okay. I'm going to edit lines, okay. We'll move forward to the catalog page and let's try implementing that use case. Or let's try to see how the use case can be satisfied using price rule. So let's just wait for a while to get the catalog loaded. So I'll click on add product which will take me to this page where I can see a laser printer and a maintenance kit. So I'll include both of them. I'll click select, which will take me to the card page where I can see like laser printers quantity is one, maintenance kit is two. Let me change the quantity of printer to two, then maintenance kit will be automatically become four. If I make it four, then it will become eight. If I make it five, then it will become 10. Now let's have a look at how this can be implemented. So here is the price rule. So the header level information, as we can see, like that's the name, uh, the evolution scope is calculator. So that will, uh, all price actions will be, evil, like conditions will be evaluated and price, rule, price actions will be uh, done on uh, price calculation time. Now, which kind of, Evaluation event it is before calculate. So before the pricing gets calculated, this event will occur. Okay. The order that we have set to one configuration evolution event, we haven't set it. Uh, it's an active one condition met all. So all condition will be met and then only it will get executed. So which are the condition? The conditions are the quote line dot product code equals MK. MK is the code for this maintenance kit. Okay. And then there are summary variables that we have created to note down or to take the quantity of laser printer. So let me just show you that. Okay. And then we can go ahead. So it is taking like uh, 
the quote line which product code is this and we are multiplying it by 2 right because we want to have printers uh, quantity multiplication by 2 and then only set into maintenance kit okay now let's say this conditions are met okay then what will be done is it will move forward to price action let's open the price action and it will make the quantity of maintenance line to the quantity of this summary variable right so whatever quantity is coming into this summary variable it will get updated into this quantity field okay and that's where uh, here we can see if i make it seven right so the price uh, summary variable will come into picture it will take the quantity of this line multiply it by two and then put this data into our maintenance kit record so this was the use of price rule how you can use this price rule thank you very much for watching the video if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel to get learning from this videos thank you very much